this video we will be exploring the origin and early state of the area known as Nigeria today. Hi, this is Neka from Nigerian History 101 and on this channel I teach you Nigerian history from the beginning. In this video we will be exploring the origin and early state of the area known as Nigeria today, highlighting 5 key points that shaped its history. Key point 1. Archaeological evidence. Our story begins thousands of years ago with the earliest archaeological evidence of human presence in Nigeria the Iwo Eleru skull. This skull found in Iwo Eleru has been dated to be over 10,000 years old, meaning that people inhabited Iwo Eleru over 10,000 years ago. So we will be using this date as the start of our historical timeline. Archaeologists have discovered tools, pottery and structures that speak volumes about the early societies that called Nigeria home. These early settlers were hunter-gatherers, relying on the abundant natural resources of the land for their survival. Number two was its transition from hunter-gathering to an agricultural society. But how did these societies evolve? As time went on, the people of Nigeria transitioned from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to an agricultural society. This shift was a very crucial turning point in the region's history and that is because it came with the introduction of farming techniques allowing for the cultivation of crops and the domestication of animals. With this new stable food supply, communities began to settle in one place, leading to the establishment of villages and the growth of population. Point 3. Early Governance Structures With the growth of settled communities came the need for governance. Early Nigerian societies developed various forms of political organization. Some communities were led by village chiefs or village heads who were responsible for maintaining order and resolving disputes. These leaders held significant influence and were often chosen based on their wisdom, bravery or lineage in certain groups. Number 4. Trade and Cultural Practices Trade played a very vital role in the development of pre-colonial Nigeria because as communities expanded, they began to seek out and engage in long-distance trade with neighboring regions and beyond. This trade network facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultural practices. It led to the emergence of vibrant markets, new trade routes, and the growth of specialized trademen such as potters, weavers, and blacksmiths. You'll come to know why blacksmiths became important in the next point, which is point five, development of advanced societies. Some regions witnessed the rise of powerful kingdoms as empires, such as the Kingdom of Unri, the Benin Kingdom, and the Oyo Empire. These societies had complex political systems, organized armies, and thriving economies. And these thriving economies was mostly because of trade. So when I told you how you come to understand the importance of blacksmiths, this is part of the point. Because blacksmiths became specialized, they organized themselves, they formed guilds, and their skills were highly sought after because they could make weapons and make tools that were used for farming. And the more people farmed, the more they had stock that they could trade, the more they made money, the more they became rich. So blacksmiths were sought after. People that had expert skills in trade, in pottery were sought after and enjoyed high levels of influence and goodwill from the rulers at that time. These societies also contributed to the development of art, architecture and literature, leaving a lasting cultural legacy. And that's a brief glimpse into the origins and early state of pre-colonial Nigeria. So basically, we evolved through those five points from existence to when we transitioned from just moving around and gathering things to farming, learning how to store things and then learning how to form communities around the places where these things were stored and then learning how to trade. Trading now led to political structures because people made money and then people became powerful. Go on and watch other videos in this series where we'll delve deeper into the different kingdoms and how they shaped the history of Nigeria as we know it today. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel, like our channel and share this video with people that you think would enjoy it as well. Until next time, bye for now.